Yo guys, Sans here and in this video, I am going to show you guys my streaming setup and how I stream on my laptop just using a Wi-Fi connection only. Now the things that you need to get started on game streaming are you need a good web camera and you need a good microphone. And right now, you're watching me at my good webcam and you're hearing me from my good microphone. Alright, now the webcam that I have is the Logitech C615. It shoots 1080p videos, so it is a wide angle lens. You can fit in two to three people here. Just, you know, move away. Alright, and the good thing about this webcam is it has a uh, uh, tripod mount so you can mount it on a tripod so right now it gives you much uh, a good viewing angle rather than just being stuck on the front of the screen so you can place this on a uh, tripod and you can place it anywhere and you can have a good setup using that and of course you will need good lighting now I have two soft boxes here that is lighting me up that gets, that's giving this light so there you go, two light boxes. I'll try to link some affordable light boxes in the description box, so check that out. All right, now the headset I have here is a very, very old headset. I have this for like three to four years, I don't know. So the headset I have here is from eBlue, and the, you're hearing me from the actual mic that comes with it. And the headset is plugged into a USB sound card my Plexstone USB sound card that gives me noise cancelling and the mute button. So it, yeah, so we have the mute button there. Alright, so like what I'm saying, the mute button is Yeah, yes, the mute button works. Alright guys, so now moving on to my laptop, the Lenovo Legion Wi-Fi 530. I did a review on this. This is the laptop that I stream on. So if you're interested on checking the specification, everything like that, check the link in the description box. I have a full review on this laptop. Now, let's move to my streaming software. Yo guys, welcome to XSplit Gamecaster. Right now, it's on beta version. And uh, upon testing this for some few game stream, um, I got the founder's license. So that means once this is no longer a beta, I have uh, full access on this without paying any subscription. That's great. So if you, have, if you want to download this and try it, it's a good time doing that. So you have a better chance of getting the founder's uh, Founders license. All right, now this is not a sponsored video. I'm just sharing this. So first, uh, it's like OBS. You know, some of our streamers are so used on OBS. It's a good, powerful tool. But for some of you guys that doesn't want to deal with settings, like for example, streaming settings like that, you can go automatically, and it will give you the best settings for your computer and for your internet speed. All right, now moving all of that aside. Uh, let's move to the studio. So this is the actual studio. So it's like OBS. You can switch from different uh, scenes. I have that and I have this. Now the theme that I have here is a preset. So I didn't, I didn't made this theme even though I'm a designer. We have a theme section here. So if you go there, there's a ton of themes that you can select. For example, if, if you play Battle Royale, you have that, you have those themes for uh, Pacific, like Fortnite. Uh, for Animated, you have that also. It was goes Animated. Uh, if, if you click over here, there's an animation that will, you know, thanks for subscribing, like that. Now you can just apply that to your theme, and once it's applied, it's, you're going to sh it's going to show up here. And you, you can also edit the uh, for example need party ig and designer hands if ever you're playing dauntless add me up so this is my theme for dauntless and moving over here guys uh stream events this is where you see all of the uh for example someone shared your live stream so or someone liked your page you can see it here now stream chat this is great because you don't have to open another browser just to check your chat uh, you can see it over here. Now, since I'm streaming on a laptop, I only have a one 
uh, one screen. So whenever I have to check my um, my chat, I just have to uh, alt tab and go to this page, and just have two programs running, my game and uh, the XSplit game ca caster. That means I don't have Google Chrome that takes a lot of memory <laughs> once it's on. So that's a good thing. So having have just having two apps running on your system is good because you have you you have you know you have you're freeing some of the memory. Now. One thing that I've noticed here is you can't reply to chats. For example, I want to reply for some, hey, awesome stream. I can't do that. Even I, even I type in the at sign, it doesn't allow me to, you know, reply to that person or tag that person. So that's one thing that I wish uh, XSplit Gamecaster would, uh, would fix on the future updates. But so far, uh, if you want to re hit record, that's a good thing too. But if you're going to record on, on your system, Right now, there is no option to change the directory. I've tried installing this to my drive D, but it doesn't work. It only works on my drive C. So I think, I don't know if that's just for me or a future update will fix it. Now, you can't, you can't, you know, I can't uh, change the directory where I want it to be recorded. Now, uh, what else? Now, over here, guys, for the stream. Once you set this all up, mine is selected on uh, is connected to my Facebook. If you stream on YouTube, uh, Twitch, or what the heck is this mixer? I don't know that. You can just link your account there. Once it's linked, it will remember it. All you have to do is press uh, stream, and with it will automatically upload to your uh, stream over to your Facebook page, and you're good to go. Not having to open uh, the Google the Google Chrome, so that's a big plus, right, guys? So that's it. Uh, I'll be linking the the link in the description box if you're interested on downloading XSplit Gamecaster. Check the link in the description box. And again, I'm not getting uh, paid to say this, but the software here. Uh, if you don't want to deal with some settings, and if you wanna, if you have a low end computer, or if you're streaming on a laptop and you have limited RAM. And you don't want multiple applications running, you can just have the XSplit running and your game, and you're good to go. Alright, guys, so just to prove you that I don't have any LAN connection connected to this laptop, there you go. I only have uh, the webcam and the charger and the uh, sound card connected to this laptop, and I'm streaming over Wi Fi. So, the reason why I don't have LAN connection here because the router is far there and uh, as you can see no no uh wires here and you know what the router is located over here so that's a lot of steps going to my office and as you can see there that's the router and this cable here if you are asking this is just like that long so it's not possible to reach the office, right? All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you like it. I hope you learned some new things. And don't forget to check the link in the description box. And uh, for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.